Well, you've heard about charities that raise money for people in trouble. You know, there's a big, you know, heart charity, and there's one for people of cerebral palsy, and all kinds of problems that people find in life. And, and there's big charities that go out and raise money, these nonprofits, to help people like that. Now, wouldn't it be great to have, you know, that you had your own charity for any problem that you see in your life, you know, and you don't have to be a nonprofit, you just go to a website and raise money to solve that problem. Your neighbor down the street, you know, maybe it's an older woman who has some kind of special problem and she needs more help in life or whatever, that now you go to a website and put that on and raise money just for her. Or, or your child wants a gap year. You know what a gap year is? These kids now who finish high school and they don't go right to college, they're like, I'm gonna take a year to see what the heck I really should be doing in life. And maybe they wanna go to Peru, you know, and work in the you know, mountains or something like that. Well, they go to this website now and get money you know, to go out and do something like that. Or you say, hey, you know, I have a friend who has cerebral palsy or, or MS or something like that, and I wanna raise money for her. You know, I don't want to go to the big charity. I think I'll have my own race, you know, with the people in my neighborhood. We're going to raise money for Alice, you know, and her condition. And they organize this website, organizes it all for you. Or your pet, they even do it for pets, you know, like you have a, a pet that <laughs> needs a hip replacement, you know. And she was telling me how this lady that you're going to see in this interview, they raised $10,000 for the family to have the pet get a hip replacement, you know. So it's that kind of help that we all need at one time or another, you know, and we all don't have special little charities <laughs> for ourselves, but now we do. And you don't have to know to ask for money. You see these professional charities, right? They know how to ask for money, you know. Well, here, you don't have to go your hat in your hand and neighbor to neighbor or something. No, it's done so nice and uh, on the internet. and. You know, anybody could do it. That's what's cool. You don't even need to do a video. I mean, they're raising all this money and hardly anybody has videos. And what's neat about the site, you can go to the site. You know, it, it's, uh, gosh, <laughs> I forgot the name of the site already. Yeah. <laughs> and you go to, you know, the site. Well, now that's silly. I don't know the site. <laughs> I'm going to get it. And you're going to wait, you know, until I, I don't look like a fool here. Okay, yeah, and all you have to do is go to this site. It's called mycause.com.au because the lady's in Australia, but it's for all over the world. And you can get a list of all the people there. You can see what they're raising money for and how much they did it. And these are just individuals. They're not big organizations doing this stuff. And that's right, to me, what it does is give the power to an individual to solve problems in their community or in their circle of friends or whatever. You just do it, pay, a f spend a few hours or whatever it takes to put up the website, probably 20 minutes, you know, <laughs> and that's about all. And you start the process and that's all it takes. So watch this video and see the power now that it, that is in your hands, it's in all of our hands, to really solve problems that are in our neighborhood or that friends are coping with or whatever. You know, don't call up and say you're sorry about their circumstances. Do something. And here's a way to do something. And you're with my cause. Now, listen, everybody out there, mycause.com.au because you're talking with that silly accent, right, from, from Australia. Hello, <laughs> but, from Melbourne. Yeah, from Melbourne. But more importantly, you know, I think what you're doing, Tanya, is really helping all the rest of us in the world be superheroes. It seems like we could come to your website when we see a problem. We have somebody who's in the hospital and can't pay all their bills, or we have somebody who's in trouble and needs something. Instead of them trying to find out a government office that probably, you know, it'll take them a year to find it or a nonprofit, we can go to your website and now get this money for that person in trouble. And to me, that's like flying with a Superman cape <laughs> for people. And that's just giving power to everybody else in the world. And we could use you from anywhere in the world, right? Yeah, you sure can. And it, it, that's it. It's all about power and control yeah. and sort of taking that control and um, creating your own campaign so that you can, you can be in charge and raise money for your friend or family member or yourself. 
Yeah, and so it's all right because people who want to go, I mean, in this country, I'm sure your country, you know, young people like maybe want to go to, uh, you know, South America to work in building a water supply some system or something like that in a village and could fundraise on your site for projects like that, right? That's a great way to fundraise. Yeah. If you're going on a volunteer trip or a gap year trip, um, you're going to give your time when you're there. Right. So you can fundraise a little bit to help you get there. And I'm sure that your friends and family would love to help you out with that. So all your friends and family, they all pop in a little bit of money onto your online fundraising campaign and bang, you've got enough money to fund you while you're over there when you're giving up your time uh, and doing fantastic yeah. volunteer work. But it seems that, I mean, I see on your site, like people do it, like families who have a favorite charity or something, they'll like have the family marathon or something and raise money on your site, you know, for some cause that the family's interested in. Yeah, look, you can run, ride, swim, bike ride for any charity that you're interested in or for your own personal cause. So we have people running for perhaps a sick friend. And ah, the great I see, thing yeah. is that you can actually add a charity as well so oh. let's say your friend has cystic fibrosis and yes. you want to help them out so you'll do your fun run you'll you'll fundraise for your friend and you'll also possibly add the cystic fibrosis charity to that as well so the donors can choose to donate to one or both to ah, the person I see. and so you wanna, the charity it's sort of like a win-win it's like a checkout line. Hey, you want to put it here? Does this is part of I exactly. see. Wonderful. But your site, it looks like so easy to use for the person. That, I, I, do I have to be a computer geek, you know, to, to figure out? <laughs> yeah, I'm going to raise money. Uh, I don't want to learn. <laughs> leave the geeky stuff to us. Uh -huh. All you have to do is click a couple of buttons, decide what you're going to fundraise for, and it's really easy. Wow. Just a process of filling in a little bit of a form. Tell us who you are, who you're mm -hmm. fundraising for, a little bit about your story. Possibly upload a photo if you like, and then share your page. The most important thing is share your page. your page. You have to let people know where your campaign yeah. page is so they can donate to it. Right. So it doesn't happen instantly by itself. Huh? You got to do that marketing you know, for your own little campaign, whatever it is. <laughs> well, it's almost magic, but not yeah, quite. It's yeah. really all about the sharing. You right. need to share by email, by Facebook, and other uh -huh. sort of social media. And really, actually, you have to ask. But the good thing is, yeah. the asking is not embarrassing because you're not going up front to people and saying, please right. sponsor me. You're just sending them perhaps nice emails, perhaps you're reminding them on Facebook. So uh -huh. it's it's a nice ask, but it's not embarrassing. Right. No, I mean, I think it's, you know, it's more like a, something bigger than you if it's on the internet, you know, or something like that. And me going face to face, I, I need $10. But if you have a project on the internet, it's sort of a more establishment you know, than anything else, to, than asking for money, you know, just personally and putting it in your pocket <laughs> and walking yeah, away. Yeah, and you know, it, 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 your donors will be receipted, yeah. they can look at your photos, they can put out, they can follow any links you might have put up, perhaps you're telling them a little bit about that uh -huh. water project in Guatemala that you're working on, ah, perhaps you put a link there, so right. they can take a bit of a look around mm -hmm. and make sure that they like the project. Um, you know, they have to trust you, they have to know you. Right. Um, but as long as you're you're all above board, fantastic way to raise money for yourself, your charity, your project, your campaign. And you said people are even using it for their pets. I guess pet vet bills are so expensive nowadays, right? Oh, aren't they? And yeah. people love their pets. Yeah. Let's face it. Um, we've raised you know ten thousand dollars to help a pet have a hip replacement, wow. eye surgery. <laughs> um, people <laughs> are really, really wow. um, That's wonderful. loving uh, using our service for their pets. So yeah. um, if, if you have a pet that you love, go right here. We've got a rabbit. We've got a horse. Oh, so really? go to the website. <laughs> go to fundraising ideas. Go to pets and animals. And you can see what other people are doing to raise money for their much beloved pet. So, but your business also, it, it helps large nonprofit people in their fundraising and, and what you have on the website now is for the little guy to almost do the same thing, right? Absolutely. You're yeah. exactly right, Matthew. You've, you've hit the nail on the head. You at home can actually yeah. behave as though you're the Red Cross in terms right. of your fundraising. You can create an online campaign. You can make it look as beautiful as yeah. you wish, um, upload as many images as you need to, write your right. compelling story, and you can share that just mm -hmm. like any big charity or not-for-profit. And I think what's nice about this is that instead of doing it yourself, you know, what I think, you know, it's hard when people are in trouble, 
you know, it's hard to have that energy yourself to do the work necessary. So doing it for somebody else, it's something, number one, it's easier to ask for money if it's some, going to somebody else, yeah, <laughs> instead of yourself. Yeah. And then for plus sure. the energy involved that you can do because you're healthy, wealthy, and wise, and the person who is struggling sometimes doesn't have that energy, you know. That's and, right. A lot yeah. of our fundraisers are the friends and family of people yeah. that might be unwell. So it'll be perhaps the best friend of, unfortunately, somebody who's quite unwell and right. they'll say, listen, all our friends, let's get together right. and help our ill friend. Yeah, right. So, and, and, that, and that's really appropriate. Yeah. You know, oh, absolutely. What healthy. could be better? Um, yeah. And it's yeah. very similar to they're organizing a drive to drop off a casserole. Exactly. Sort of right, thing. Right. They're organizing a drive, a little bit of funding, help yeah. the family along and the way. And you can reach everybody everywhere, not just the people in the That's neighborhood right. that drop off the casserole. Right? Exactly right. You might have, you know, you've got auntie in New York, cousin in New Right, Steve, exactly. You know, people are everywhere. Right. Well, this and is just one. Sorry? And what? And overseas. Your friends and family might also be abroad, so oh, you can exactly. also receive yeah. donations anywhere. from anywhere. And, and what you're going to have very soon on your site is, is like three or four different currencies, right? So no matter where you are, you get paid in that currency and you uh, contribute in that currency and everything. So even though you talk with a funny accent, it doesn't matter, right? Oh, <laughs> <laughs> well, wonderful, Tanya. And we're at, you're at mycause.com.au. Go there if you want to be a superhero. And actually, I'll send you a magic cape. I got superhero capes. <laughs> because that's what you're do doing. By providing something that the rest of us could be superheroes in the country or in the world. You know, it, it's just, there's nothing more important you should do with your life. So I'm glad you're doing this and keep doing it, okay? <laughs> Thank you so much. We look forward to seeing you in Australia sometime, you Matthew. I'll be there. Thank you.